Well, this is all about um, our group, our small group of people getting an intimate relationship with others that is very difficult to get through the larger church. And it's family. It's it's where you can go and and you walk in and you know that they love you and that they're going to listen to you and that you're going to listen to them and you can share at deep levels. And everybody in this group has been yeah. such a blessing to my life. And the prayer is powerful, and uh, the praise, the hymns that we sing, uh, are just very uplifting. And I love my brothers and sisters that are part of this group. I just remembered growing up as a kid and uh, having the, um, the the church hymnals in the in the pews, and um, just uh, how special those. Uh, those songs were to me. One of the special things um, about this group is that um, I was in between churches for a really long time and that's kind of when I started coming to this small group and um, for a long time this was my home church. This was my church and um, it, it it was really special in that way. To learn about people's lives and what God has been doing in our lives. To be encouraged by other people's struggles and praises. And to see what God does with our time and our gifts. Every week we, we get together and we pray together. We lift um, the Lord uh, Jesus' name up and we worship together. We're really focused on serving him in his kingdom and wanting to share his love with, with people in the community. Yeah. Well, generosity um, is something that the Lord desires of each of his children and each of his people. And it comes from a spirit of serving and loving the Lord. And so as you do that, he desires, and you desire, uh, to be generous. We have our blue bag, where we each contribute as the Lord leads or as we're able financially. And we have reached out to people here in the community, to people within the group, to people around the world. Well, the blue bag was just a concept that the Holy Spirit uh, brought to our group, but we just laid out an old blue bag, an old banker's bag, and um, came to the conclusion that we would each put into it um, financially as we were able, and uh, and then see how we could serve others inside and outside the group. Just giving to the blue bag and watching how God has used that to uh, just do all kinds of amazing things all over the world. Um, it's it has made me excited about um, about tithes and offering again because I get to see I get to actually see the the work that God's doing. It's such a blessing to be able to give and to to minister and to reach out to our neighbors that are here and that are in Camarillo and that are around the world. And that's an incredible feeling for to know that that we're doing the ministry that Jesus has called us to do to reach out and give to our neighbors. And I'll never meet these people until heaven. And that's going to be so neat to be able to to go up to somebody and say, have them say, I had a Bible because you gave. And to know that that I can be a part of what Jesus has called us to do. Our, our gifts in the blue bag, and starting churches and helping ministries uh, elsewhere in the world and getting praise reports back, seeing how it's affected people's lives. The Lord has just done some amazing things with the group here in bringing us opportunities all around the world, um, Philippines, Alaska, Africa, Mexico, um, and right here in Camarillo, being able to share the love of Christ 
and through the blue bag, but uh, through our time, um, through our talents and our resources. I believe that it was within the hearts of each individual um, to um, be generous and to serve uh, the Christian community in our in in our hometown here and beyond. Those are some of the benefits that we get out of being a small group and meeting together on a weekly basis. <laughs>